Okay, hello, welcome. Uh, this is videos associated with my blog, and my blog is frankholzman.blogspot.com. I want to talk about developing an intimate relationship with a piece of land, which basically means monitoring and looking at the different components of the land and how they work together to, uh, to form a healthy symbiotic relationship. So first of all, look at the upper canopy of your woods. We're going to start in the woods. Uh, you want a healthy upper canopy and lower canopy and look for diversity. That's very important for, for a healthy uh, environment, a healthy ecosystem. Look for niches and habitats that, that will provide for animals because those are the animals that come out and visit your garden and your farm at night. Uh, symbiotic relationships are important to look for. For instance, here's muscadine vine. It creates a healthy uh, symbiotic relationship with birds. Uh, look at ground covers that you might have. Uh, look for native and, and non-native species. If you have a lot of non-native species, you can work at trying to get rid of them. Uh, mushrooms are very important to come out and, and evaluate after a good rain. That'll tell you how healthy your mycorrhizal fungi are, which is imperative to having a good, healthy woods. Uh, now we're going to move out into the field. Now, look for a variety of native grasses, also broadleaf plants, leguminous plants, and if you've got wildflowers, that's a huge plus. Uh, all this stuff attracts the birds and the insects that again are going to be visiting your crops and your and uh, and what you have, and that that all plays an important role in creating the balance that you're trying to achieve. Uh, now we're going to move into the garden, the gr main growing area, and uh, you can do a soil evaluation after a rain when the soil's damp, digging out a square foot, putting it in a wheelbarrow, and looking for soil insects like uh, earthworms, millipedes, centipedes, sow bugs, things like that that are all beneficial decomposers. Uh, if you have a stream or above the ground water, you can do stream monitoring. I'm not going to be able to go into that right now, but uh, and that's just a, a simple evaluation test for looking at the invertebrates, uh, which will tell you how healthy your water is. That's especially important if you're using your water to irrigate with. The last thing I want to mention is insect monitoring. Uh, this panel works really well. This is recycled, repurposed garbage uh, that I found in a dumpster. Painted it yellow to attract insects. Put a glossy, something sticky that's water repellent on there. Uh, something like Tanglefoot works really well. And then this is something, it's a little early here to be doing this, but you can do this in the late spring, early summer when a lot of insects emerge. And you'll get an idea of what insects are living out here and in what proportions. And you can also expand on your knowledge of entomology. Uh, so th those are all ways to develop a relationship and a better knowledge of of what's going on in your garden. Again, all this stuff is in my blog site in more detail, uh, frankholzman.blogspot.com. And there's even more information in my book, which is A Radiant Earth. This book's available on Barnes and Noble and Amazon. And so uh, if you find this interesting, let me know. Thank you and happy gardening.